We're working on the exhaust problem that we talked about earlier on the truck and what I've done is I've set up a tool that I have, it's, a, it's actually a bender and I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of describe what it is that I'm going to do here. Um, I talked in the first video about uh, creating a bracket and I'm in the process of doing that. Uh, what I wanted to do was show, I'm going to use this in an atypical way and I'm going to create a 90 degree bend in this uh, quarter inch steel. That's what I've selected. I had a couple of choices about what I wanted to do and I'm going to go ahead with the quarter inch and see if this will solve this vibrating heat shield problem that we have on the truck right now. Um, the setup that I have here is I actually made this die uh, according to the manufacturer of this tool and um, it's atypical the way we're about to use this. It's mostly made for flat stock. However, I have done this with the quarter inch before. It fits tightly, but it'll still get the job done. This is a piece of scrap, and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So I'm going to go ahead, and it's a real tight fit in here. I'm going to just slide that in, all right? And go ahead and pan back, and you can see I'm going to grab this handle. I'm just going to use some uh, leverage on this to get the bend that I want to wrap around the bit on the, uh, on the tool here. So it happens pretty quickly, but this is how it goes. Okay, I'm watching the piece of steel to see when I get to about 90 degrees and it seems like it's right about there. You can tweak that a little bit if you have to. In any event, you remove the piece of steel and you end up with a nice 90 degree right here. Um, what I did was I, I've completed the bracket that I want to actually use and I've, I've got that over here. So the muffler, this will go over the muffler as we talked about earlier and um, this is going to be welded to the, the back end, this will be welded to the front end, the heat shield, I'm probably going to tack it somewhere in here and, and I'm going to have to put force down on it before I actually complete the welds on either of the ends. So that's my solution for the moment and that's what we're going to, uh, to try to do. Thanks.